Today I'm going to teach you how to add flying debris using Photoshop only. My name is Nauri Radwan and you are tuned to photomanipulation.com. If you are new here, welcome. We are not your typical Photoshop channel. We specialize in photo manipulation, digital art and advanced Photoshop techniques. If that sounds like your kind of thing, be sure to like and subscribe as we put out new videos every weekday. It's free, easy and really supports the channel. Let's roll to the video. Enjoy. So first I'm going to start with this document, I got these two images from Adobe Stock, all the links are going to be in the description down below. And first I'm going to start explaining the technique. First thing I want to do is I'm going to turn this layer to black by clicking on Ctrl I to inverse it. And then I'm going to add another layer and I'm going to fill it with black as well. Now go to filter, noise, add noise texture, the amount is 400 and the distribution is on Gaussian and monochromatic. Click OK and then add some Gaussian blur to it around 3 to 4. This is up to you and then go to noise, sorry, go to pixelate, crystallize. This will give it a crystal look. Uh, you can make it, you can scale it to make it bigger or small. I'm going around 100 and then I'm going to click OK what you want to do now is click on Control L this will bring a levels adjustment and let's make a high contrast between the white and the black make sure the uh, mid, mid tones is attached to uh, the black the, the uh, dark uh, bar and let's make a nice contrast make sure there is no gray color I think this block looks up let me just do like that Okay, I think this is good. Now let's make another levels and I'm going to make this gray areas more white. I want it to be completely white. So this is a nice shape to go with. Uh, every time you do this technique, you will get a different sizes and different locations. You can do it over and over till you get a nice look. Now I'm going to give it a debris shape by going to filter, noise and click on dust and scratches. Here you have the freedom to change the radius till you get the shape you want. I'm going for uh, 18 and then I'm going to click OK. Now we have this uh, shapes that looks like debris. What you want to do now is go to channels, click and hold control and click on the RGB channel that will make a selection and then go back to layers, hide this layer and add a new one. While the selection is active, click on Shift and F5 and fill it with white. Make sure this is unchecked. Now let's delete this layer because we don't need it. And we want to add a texture to this debris. So make a new layer, fill it with black. Go to Filter, Render, Clouds and this will add clouds now go to filter filter gallery and go to bass and relief bass relief sorry make sure the details are all the way up and the smoothness is down and click ok this will give us a rock looking like texture and that's what we need and then go to edit and define pattern and name it rock and click ok now we don't need it let's delete it and let's go click two times on this layer the debris layer and click bevel and emboss reset to default and make the screen and multiply all the way up let's change the depth just a bit and go to texture click on texture and choose the 
rock texture that we just made and decrease the depth just a bit around that that will give it uh, a rock texture and then go to pattern overlay choose chose the same uh, rock texture that we made and make sure the blender mode is on linear burn that will give a rock texture to the uh, debris that we made and you can see these areas because it's completely dark so if we go to multiply and decrease it just a bit you can see the areas right here you can play with the depth this is up to you you can change those settings till you get a nice shape you want i'm not going to mess with this i'm going to increase the depth just a bit and this is the way to add the debris on photoshop without using any stock images and after that you can click the right mouse button and go to rasterize layer style after that you pick some debris that you want to be in the front let's say those ones and click right click and select and click layer v cut and choose the smaller ones just with the lasso tool and do the same step now we want these ones to be at the all the way up and these shall be in the mid and wait a minute this is the front so yeah i don't think this layer doesn't have any information so this one's on the front i'm going to this one and i'm going to select random rocks right here and layer via cut and we are going to move them all the way down and we start to add the bath blur So this is the ones in the front, we don't want them to be too blurred, we are going to decrease the speed just a bit and we are going to the mid ones and we are going to add bath blur and we are going to make it in the different direction, not like the first ones and we are going to increase the speed just a bit and add some taper. just like that and for the last ones we want them to be on the up direction and we are going to add more speed and taper and just like that this is how the technique works now we are going to apply it to this image right here so we have this image that I just made with Photoshop using uh, some Adobe stock stocks and this is a very nice example to add debris because this is a, a world war uh, it gives like world war feels and this is uh, some explosions around that are going to cause are going to cause some debris flying and this time we are going to add noise too but before we do that let's add the breeze first so black layer and let's add this time i'm not going to add the noise i'm going to add clouds and i'm going to pixelate crystallize make them a little bit bigger and then i'm going to add a contrast by clicking on ctrl l Yeah, this is fine and Ctrl L again to fill the gray color and then we are going to add a noise dust and scratches I'm going to increase it just a bit this is fine and I'm going to channel 
click and hold control and click on the RGB go back make a mask out of it and apply it click on control U to make it completely white with no black strokes on it so in the first time we added a rock texture but for this one I'm going to add the ground texture to it so I'm going to the ground right here and I'm going to click on ctrl G to make it a new layer drag it all the way up and I'm going to layer duplicate the layer and I'm going to make it a new document I'm going to make it to name it ground click OK and I want only to focus on this area right here and I'm going to make it a pattern name it ground and click OK and close this document and we are going to delete this from here and for the debris layers and we are going to add the pattern that we just made from the ground let's scale it just a bit down and let's go to the bevel and impose we are not going to make these colors black and white we are going to sample from the sky here and here we are going to sample from the dark areas or around let's say here from the ground and we are going to make it overlay and here overlay as well and I'm going to decrease the size just a bit add some depth and for the texture we are going to add the pattern that we just made and play with the depth like that and then I'm going to scale it down just a bit to here and I'm going to rasterize the layer style I'm going to make it darker by adding a control U uh, hue and saturation adjustment layer and click OK maybe let's add this with the levels to add contrast and make it darker just a bit and here you can do the two things even do the steps again from the beginning I'm going to speed the process so I just made another uh, debris from the technique you can either do that or the, do the first technique which is selecting some rocks and cutting it from the layer and make them in a new layer by their own but if you have time I recommend making new ones and make them smaller scale them down just like that so for the first one I'm going to add a bath floor that's going up like that sorry no, I'm not affecting the yeah, this one and we are going to add taper to it click OK and we are going to the second one and add a path blur and do the same actually this time I'm going to delete the arrow and make another one from here click the exit key and another one from here and I'm going to control the speed and add some taper decrease the speed just a bit and with a control L I'm going to make them darker just like that and if there is a uh, light source in this case it's the explosion right here you can go back to the debris and add a bevel and impose select the first uh, reset the to default and select the light source direction and increase the highlights and decrease the shadows sample from this color and as you can see it's adding the uh, reflection in the uh, debris 
I'm going to decrease the size and turn this to linear dodge maybe increase the depth just a bit like that and we are going to do the same to the rocks right here and make the direction coming from the up areas so here we add the debris flying like from the ground just by using the photoshop by adding a noise uh, texture and then blurring it like around 3 to 4 pixels and then make First, first of all, I'm going to scale it to the double and I'm going to select the canvas by clicking on Ctrl A and then crop it and then with Ctrl L, I'm going to make a high contrast between the whites and the dark areas just like that and then I'm going to channels click and hold Ctrl, click on the RGB make a mask apply it with the control u restore the white colors and delete the white uh, the black strokes and we are going to make a new layer clip it to the noise and i'm going to sample from the ground a dark color from the ground and paint and then merge them together make them darker by adding a levels adjustment and we are going to mask it Control i to inverse and with a white color and 100% flow and opacity paint on the areas of the explosion I don't know what you are working on but it works on a lot of uh, scenarios let's see you are making a space design you can make this technique to add a uh, meters or uh, like and i'm going to add another noise texture this time i'm going to scale it to 400 like double it uh, two times and i'm going to crop it add blur to it and i'm going to make the blur bigger here and with the control l add contrast between them go to the channels click and select like we did before add the mask and with the control you restore the white strokes mask it out but before let's add the color of the ground to it merge them together Control L, make it darker just a bit, and mask it out with a white soft brush paint pack, and apply the mask. Sorry, apply the mask. Apply it here too, and let's go to the path blur. Delete this arrow key, and let's add one like that. Click on the ECP button and add another one from here and one from here and one here you can use these uh, red arrows uh, by uh, checking this uh, edit blur shapes and then click on the uh, red arrow and control the like the speed and the shape of the uh, debris and the dust that is uh, flying like that You can control from the bottom too. Let's decrease the speed just a bit and add some taper. Maybe increase the. Sorry, let me delete that and increase the red arrow key. Yeah, this is perfect. Now I'm going back to the other noise and we are going to add path blur to it and then add another one from here click the sharp and with the speed and taper we just made may let's make the speed around 
uh, 30% because I want the uh, the front noise texture to be less uh, uh, I want it to have less motion blur to it so this is working fine and just like that we made this uh, debris flying from this explosion so at the end guys I want to tell you that this technique is useful for different scenarios let's say for example you are making a space scene you can turn these debris into asteroids and let's say you are making a superhero landing scene or a fight scene or a war scene or even better you can make it like to make a uh, flying pieces of broken window after you add the uh, crystallized effect and you make the uh, contrast without adding the dust and the scratches you can use that to add the uh, broken window pieces flying and yeah this is it guys for this uh, lesson for today i will see you in the next lesson peace